Well, I was diagnosed last July, July of 2014. We brought him in due to severe headaches. Had an MRI that same day. He was diagnosed with a brain tumor on the right side of his brain. Right from that first MRI, we needed that information. Um, it was devastating news, but at the same time, it needed to be done and really it was a life-saving experience. MRIs are absolutely essential to my clinical practice as a neurosurgeon. MRI for a lot of physicians may be a black box, so it's something we put our patients into and we get pretty pictures at the end of the day. Having a biomedical engineer who understands the software and the hardware of the technology and the tools that we use is absolutely critical to my research to help me to build new platforms for the future. My grad students and myself are working on novel ways to improve imaging technology, mostly focused around magnetic resonance imaging. The big goal with um, my research and everything we're doing here is direct application to patients and patient care right away. That's why we work so much with clinicians, is to understand what are their problems? What do they, what do they need to improve on to get patient care even better? At McMaster University, biomedical engineering focuses on wellness and health. The combination of three pillars, diagnosis, materials, therapies, forms the basis of biomedical engineering at McMaster. This is the Cellular Molecular Sensing Laboratory. This is a lab where we develop new classes of biosensing devices. Biosensors are devices that detect the presence, absence, or quantity of biological molecules for managing diseases. My research focus is on studying implant materials for joint replacements and dental implants. And we work a lot with designing the materials and improving their properties so uh, that they behave better in the body and, and can help improve human health. The basic theme of my research program is working at a class of materials called smart materials. These are materials whose properties change in some way when their physical environment changes. So what we do in my lab is basically take those materials and then engineer them to apply them in biomedical applications. Medical problems span an entire gamut of activities in going all the way from diagnosis through to treatment. That's why at McMaster what we've done is in, rather than siloing biomedical engineering into its own unit, we are instead broadening it out so that it reaches out to all of the different disciplines within engineering. Our work is not uh, standalone. It relies on expertise from a large number of, of fields. So we need people who have expertise in, in medicine and we need people who have expertise in engineering in order for us to come together and create something that really works. I really see an engineering degree as the liberal degree for the 21st century. Our graduates will not only be eminent engineers, but we train them to be engaged scholar citizens who will transform the world. We're training students who will be able to solve the world's problems in the middle of the 21st century. We don't know what these problems are going to be yet. We don't know what the jobs are going to be yet. But if we give them a broad-based education with a strong core disciplinary depth, they'll be equipped to solve any problem. In our engineering programs, we, we invite all of our clinical colleagues to participate in the teaching of our engineers. So, for example, our biomedical engineering students do human anatomy and human physiology shoulder to shoulder with the medical students. They're ready to go. They're really, really well trained and they're ready to leap off into something really big. My research is in the mild traumatic brain injury field and what I'm trying to accomplish is uh, I want to be able to identify a mild traumatic brain injury and be able to track it through recovery. I started off at uh, this lab as an undergraduate student researcher and uh, throughout the years I've been collecting these skill sets and, and polishing them uh, to the point where now as a master's student I was able to actually apply it. One of the big things we do here too is we have a lot of partnership with industry and our most recent industrial partnership is with Synaptive Medical which is a company out of Toronto. Working with McMaster was a great opportunity for us. This completes that kind of triangle that you see so often in medicine of research, clinical, and commercial. Well, that actually lets us take this work that's all been done on the bench, go through the regulatory process, develop something that's, that's user-friendly and fast and efficient. 
There's Synaptive on the industry side, and there's Dr. Singh on the neurosurgical side, and the three of us together are working very, very hard together to improve uh, surgical outcomes for brain tumor operations. The MRI is absolutely essential for diagnosis, surgical planning, and then surveillance afterwards. Will's been clear for a long time now, which is wonderful, and he can feel great about that. But the MRIs are very reassuring for us that we'll pick something up, even before it generates any symptoms, and then we can deal with it. Despite everything he's been through, he's still one of the best goal scorers on his team. And I always was. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to work in a field like biomedical engineering where we can really create new technologies or understand processes better so we can improve human health. That's why we're here. We're here to make a difference.